2015 saw an enormous political effort to alert the nations of the world and the general public that the global average temperature was increasing at an alarming rate. This political effort culminated in the Paris Agreement and the Net Zero Strategy. But now both lie in ruins and need to be fundamentally rethought. Both rely on climate change models that, for example, in 2018 forecast that global warming is likely to reach 1.5 degrees Celsius between 2030 and 2052 if it continues to increase at the current rate. It is these climate models that spur our politicians to rapidly pursue net zero goals. But NOAA data for the past seven years confirms that these models are wrong. And this IPCC prediction is certainly wrong. And more, the very latest data shows the cooling trend of the last seven years is actually growing. The planet is cooling faster than before. At the end of the seven-year period, January 2015 to December 2021, global average temperature was in decline by 0.09 degrees Celsius per decade. At the end of January 2022, the rate of decrease was maintained at 0.09 degrees Celsius per decade. The NOAA data for February 2022 shows the rate of decrease in global average temperature has now increased to 0.1 degrees Celsius per decade. The decrease is getting stronger. Some politicians have realised that our political leaders in the West are rushing a net zero strategy despite the conflicting evidence of decreasing global temperature and the increasing costs of living being imposed on the general public. Net zero must be questioned even more after the tragedy of the war in Ukraine. And we emphasize it is the West that is threatened by net zero. Putin and Xi did not attend COP26. The Prime Minister of India announced that India will target net zero carbon emissions by 2070. That's two decades later than the targets for the COP26 conference. And he was right to do so, for this IPC prediction and the report containing it are shown to be incorrect by seven years and two months of NOAA data. The politicians of the West are urged to rethink their net zero strategies. Otherwise, the West faces chaos while China, India and Russia will grow their economies and even use their natural resources to gain political and military advantage. The West and its politicians must understand that the climate models are quite simply not correct. Global average temperature is consistently falling.